PLC Simulator Conquer Your Automation Potential PLC Programmable Logic Controllers can significantly reduce the cost of manufacturing a machine. The PLC programming can be reduced as much as 50% with the use of simulators. A PLC simulator is a piece of software that enables a programmer to test their code without the need for hardware. This means that the logic can be proven before execution in the actual PLC. Imagine trying to become an airplane pilot without a flight simulator. This could be disastrous. We will examine both online and offline PLC simulators. The online PLC simulator, PLC Fiddle, demonstrates how to learn programming in your web browser over the internet. Offline programming involves downloading and installing software to run on your computer, simulating the PLC. The Do More Designer Simulator will help you take your potential to the next level. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. Our website offers extensive links, references, and coding samples, making it a one-stop shop for all your automation queries. accautomation.ca What is a PLC simulator? A PLC simulator, as mentioned before, is a piece of software that allows you, the programmer, to test your logic code without the need for actual hardware. Your PLC logic code is executed in the same way that a physical PLC will execute. If we look at the basic PLC ladder logic program, then the following happens. 1. The inputs are read. 2. Your program is solved from left to right, top to bottom. The output from the previous rung is available for use by the next rung. 3. Communication and diagnostics are performed. The step may or may not happen depending on the PLC simulator used. 4. The outputs are written. This is a scan of the PLC simulator similar to the actual physical PLC. The cyclic nature of the scan is typically slower in the PLC simulator versus an actual physical PLC. This is usually due to the overhead of the computer, which must handle physical components such as the screen, keyboard, and mouse, as well as software components like the operating system. Online versus Offline Simulators Online and offline simulators are often confused with online and offline communication to the physical programmable logic controller, PLC. Since we do not need hardware with a PLC simulator, our programs are tested in a virtual environment on a computer. An online PLC simulator requires an internet connection and operates within your web browser. The online version of this simulator needs an internet connection. Since it runs in your browser, no software is installed on your computer. Online PLC simulators are generally used for learning and training in basic PLC programming concepts. The program's instruction set typically provides fundamental programming, making it an ideal choice for learning. An offline PLC simulator is typically a software package provided by a manufacturer of programmable logic controllers, PLCs. This simulator enables you to test and troubleshoot your PLC logic without requiring physical hardware. You download and install the software on your computer, where you can program your PLC logic using the manufacturer's tools. After programming, you can test your logic using the included PLC simulator. We will now explore examples of both online and offline PLC simulators. PLC Fiddle Online PLC Simulator Let's now examine a free online virtual PLC simulator called PLC Fiddle. It will enable you to create simple PLC ladder logic code directly within your browser, free of charge. This is an ideal way to understand PLC concepts for industrial automation. All of the basic PLC instructions that come with most PLC units have been incorporated into this virtual cloud PLC software. The software consists of three main parts, variables and control, instructions and ladder and simulation. Let's now create an example. You will see that when we start PLC Fiddle, a start-stop circuit has already been made. When we select the off button in the variables and control, this will turn the variable on. Our ladder logic constantly scans and turns on the motor. The motor remains on even after the start button is turned off. This is due to the motor parallel sealing contact under the start button. The stop button, when turned on, will stop the motor. Let's add a jog function to this existing ladder logic start-stop control. Add two more Boolean variables, jog and jog work bit. The jog function will allow the motor to run only while the jog is activated. When it turns off, the motor will stop. Under the motor sealing contact, add the jog.
we can immediately test our circuit since our ladder logic is constantly being solved. Selecting the jog will turn on the motor, but it will not turn off the motor when the jog is turned off. This is due to the scan of the PLC. We must create a delay for the motor sealing contact when using the jog. Use the jog contact to turn on the jog work bit on a new ladder logic rung. Add the normally closed jog work bit beside the motor sealing contact. Operate your logic. The jog button now functions as expected and the motor stops when jog mode is turned off. We have created a series of examples using PLC Fiddle to demonstrate how to program a programmable logic controller, PLC. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button below. Keeping up with all the latest automation innovations can be difficult, so hit the subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell beside your subscription to receive the notifications. Do more designer software, offline PLC simulator. Unlike the online version of PLC simulators, the offline PLC simulator requires a download. Software is installed on your computer from the PLC manufacturer's website. One of the easiest offline PLC simulators is in the Do More Designer Programming Software. Our Learn PLC Programming Free Now video series will guide you through downloading, installing, and using this completely, fully functional software package. Typically, the offline PLC simulator demonstrates the ability to communicate both online and offline with the simulator. This provides a more accurate representation of how physical hardware will function. The instruction set for the PLC is typically the same as the manufacturer's hardware, providing a precise representation of the logic being executed. Our Do More Designer PLC simulator appears as follows. We can control the inputs, whether discrete or analog, and observe the output function according to our logic. Let's enter our ladder logic for the start-stop jog circuit, just as we did with the PLC Fiddle Online Simulator. Once we have entered our logic, we can accept it. This will check the syntax of the code to ensure that no errors are present when it compiles. Use the right to PLC icon to transfer our program. Select the status icon to view the status of our logic as it is being solved. We can now operate the inputs to ensure that our ladder logic circuit works. Since this is a fully functional programming software, we can use additional tools like data view to see variables for our program. Since this software is installed on your computer, we can also use the simulator to communicate through the serial and ethernet ports. This can test additional equipment on your system. The built-in simulator functions just like a physical Do More PLC, BRX, enabling you to immerse yourself in the world of automation. Online and offline PLC simulators offer different levels of realism and complexity, each with its advantages and disadvantages. Simulators provide a safe and cost-effective means of learning and training in PLC programming. During the development and testing of your PLC logic, simulators can increase your efficiency and enhance safety.
Machine simulators allow you to program realistic applications. Teaming this up with the PLC simulator creates a learning environment. To see this in action with the user-friendly Do More Designer PLC simulator, click here. Click here to learn more about the machine simulator, 